I'm so happy to welcome back Mark Dahlberg. He's a board member and volunteer with the Golden Retriever Rescue of Southwest Florida. Good morning, Good Mark. Morning. Great Good to morning. have you back. As much as we love you, Mark, today we really yeah. want to talk to Belle. She is absolutely beautiful, and she uh, she's looking she for a home, right? She is. Belle is uh, approximately three years old and is one of a dozen dogs in the rescue right now that is currently looking for her forever home. She, uh, she's being fostered now. But certainly is uh, is a dog that's waiting to to move on yeah. and, and be someplace permanently. And it, it, talk to us about golden retrievers. They really are quite the family dog. It, it seems are. like, right? You know, each each has its own personality, but they are. There are some that uh, that you know do well with dogs, other dogs. Some that are a little more independent. Some do well with cats. And but uh, a lot of that we find from uh, the information we find out from our foster families. Yeah. Bill is number 548 into the rescue, which means on average <laughs> we, see, belly rub. <laughs> we, we see about one dog every four or five days. Wow. And although it's, you know, it's very easy for us to locate the dogs and get them to uh, vets mm -hmm. and get them medically taken care of, from there, it's important to find out where uh, where can the dog go? Where will the dog be able to be fostered? Well, and I think to that point, you said a, a dog every four days. I mean, that's a lot. But what you guys really depend on is having foster parents. We, and uh, I've been a foster parent before, and uh, it really does not only help get them a, a placement for a while, but like you said, it helps figure out all the quirks and the, the, the uh, behavior of the animal. It is, and especially this time of year with so many of your uh, Southwest Florida viewers being mm -hmm. seasonal residents, yeah. a lot of times we'll get questions as to how can they help. And they as can a help volunteer, in a big way. As a volunteer organization, yeah. their financial commitment is always uh, appreciated, but more so um, to, be, to be a foster. Mm -hmm. When these dogs come in, as I, as I mentioned, we'll get them vetted, um, but then we need a place for them to go where we can learn more about their personalities. Yeah. So even if it's just a short time, so if you're a snowbird and you're watching today and you're here maybe just for a, a couple months, that's the perfect it is. opportunity. It is. Now, you know, we don't have a specific time limit on how long a dog stays in a foster. Mm -hmm. We like them to stay a minimum of two weeks so that they can better understand the dog's personality. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it takes longer than that to find the appropriate home yeah. based on uh, the, the dog's needs and desires. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, for those folks that are here just for a few months, that's one way they can truly help out the rescue is, is to become a foster mm -hmm. while, they're, while they're here in South Florida and help these folks, find, uh, these pups find their way to, to their forever homes. And then as a, a foster parent, are you involved in going and making sure the dog is taken to uh, adoption fairs or, or kind of what's your role? Are you just... The, we ask that the uh, foster families uh, provide food and shelter for the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, the rescue will continue any type of medical treatment that's necessary while they're fostered. We do have monthly events, and we would certainly like the fosters to be able to bring the dogs there to, to show them mm -hmm. that they're available. But then the fosters are also very involved in the placement of the dog. Mm -hmm. um, the fosters will be able to take a look at the applications um, and, and make some recommendations on the, uh, the things that are, are provided, mm -hmm. whether it fits the needs of this particular puppy. So what kind of people are you looking for? I'm going to say animal lovers. Any dog lovers sure, out there? Sure. I know there's a lot of us uh, that can really make a difference. Um, any, really anybody. There are, there are some dogs that we know that, that are, uh, do better if somebody's home all the time. So fosters that uh, are retired or fosters that work from home, that uh, there are some dogs that do better with other, other dogs. Mm -hmm. um, so it, it really is anybody that has the, uh, the ability, the time, and the desire to foster mm -hmm. can be a big help. They can go onto our website at grrswf.org and uh, contact us that way. So find that's out the best way is just going that's to the, the best website way. if they want to sign up. There's a link there where they can learn more about fostering and some of the responsibilities. And then they can also see the dogs that are currently available uh, there for adoption, like so Belle. So Belle is up for adoption or, or foster home? Uh, Belle is, is in, in a Belle is in a currently in a foster okay. home. Um, right now she's one of 12 that are. Okay. But she, uh, she is looking for her, uh, her permanent forever home. Well, I know we can find her a home. So if you're interested in adopting uh, Belle or you're interested in fostering or maybe even just making a donation to help out the uh, Golden Retriever Rescue of Southwest Florida, just uh, contact uh, Mark here. Go to their website for more information or you can contact us. Mark, thank you so much. Thank you. We're gonna Find you a home, Belle. Yeah, good job. <laughs> we'll go ahead and send it over to Carly. One last look at your Fox forecast, and then we'll be right back.